is what it looks like. Hi friends, welcome to crazybatter.com and in episode 2 of Diwali series, I have for you today spinach dipped mozzarella sticks. What could be more healthier and tastier and tempting than that? Let's start with our episode 2. So make sure that you're tuned in, get all the notifications from my channel and till then, take care, bye bye. Okay, so these are very simple ingredients for mozzarella sticks. Some mozzarella grated, of course. Some boiled spinach. Some paneer or cottage cheese or cream cheese, whatever you want to call it. Some breadcrumbs, black pepper powder, eggs, salt, that's it. And of course, some oil to fry. Let's get started. So in my large bowl, I have my grated mozzarella, which looks yummy already. I have my spinach, which is boiled and mashed. My grated paneer, cottage cheese, cream cheese, whatever you want to call it. Some salt to taste. And a sprinkle of black pepper. Simply we need to do now is give all these things a good mash. Nothing could be more tastier and simpler than this snack. Trust me. It's good for a good cricket test series day if your friends are coming over it's good for a festival it's good for if you're it's your kids birthday party if it's good if it's your kitty party this is going to rock all the parties that you're going to have this is done nicely i need to do is i'll take a tray put my parchment paper parchment paper butter paper whatever you want to call it on this and spread this mixture on it press it down now our sticks are ready and I have to now freeze them for approximately 30 minutes then I'll come back and show you what to do so these sticks are out from the refrigerator and now I'm going to Cut them in long slices while they're frozen. They already look so tempting. So after cutting the sticks, what I'm going to do is I've heated my pan. I'm coating my sticks into breadcrumbs. I broke into eggs, beat them up. Dip it into egg mixture. Again, dip it back into the breadcrumbs and fry it. Similarly, we are going to do with all the sticks. After frying, this is what it looks like. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like this recipe, do not forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel because it's Diwali series. I have so many more delicious Diwali tempting recipes for you coming up in these series which you can make for your guests and your family and get all the praises that you've been waiting for. 